In this video, we'll be reviewing the new 2024 Mercedes-Benz E-Class Estate. Audio Jungle. Welcome once again to Sim Action Auto Review Channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the post notification, like, share and also, comment down below. Some people have never been big lovers of business wagons, but a new one is on its way, whether you like it or not. The Mercedes-Benz E-Class Estate is a completely new version of the vehicle that will follow in the footsteps of its already unveiled sister, the sedan. The all-new 2024 Mercedes-Benz E-Class Estate will be the same car as the sedan up to the B-pillars, offering a low-slung alternative to the GLE. Further back, it will have a longer roofline that ends above the spoiler attached to the tailgate. The wider three-quarter panels and side windows will provide a more spacious cargo room than the 2024 E-Class sedan. It will adopt all of the four-door model's design cues up front, while the back should feature a similar look that has been modified for the more practical body form. The interior of the future competitor for the three-pointed star brand's BMW 5 Series Touring and Audi A6 Avant will use the same entertainment system in the center of the dashboard and digital dials that resemble tablets behind the steering wheel. There will also be a third display available, placed in front of the passenger. Look for the same gadgets, including selfie cameras, video streaming, and apps like Angry Birds and TikTok. Unsurprisingly, ambient lighting will be present in the cockpit, and there will be plenty of storage options for users. Rear passengers will have more leg and knee room than in the previous model. In comparison to its predecessor, the E-Class sedan has 22mm, 1 in, greater space between the axles, and the wagon should ideally follow suit. According to Mercedes, the new E-Class is nearly as roomy as a premium vehicle from the higher sector. The same engines that are available for the sedan in 2024, which vary depending on the market, will also be offered for the E-Class estate. On the right side of the Atlantic, mild hybrids and plug-in hybrids will be offered for sale alongside gasoline and diesel engines. Eventually, the AMG flavors will join the fray, perhaps in the 53 and 63 versions. According to rumors, the latter won't have a V8 anymore, instead, it will have a six-pot with electric assistance, producing a mind-blowing level of power. Some predict that it will start with more than 700 horsepower, while others are certain that the output will be close to 800 horsepower. The new Mercedes-Benz E-Class estate hasn't been announced yet, but it will likely be unveiled within the next few weeks or months. The car might resemble the sketch created by Sugartsing underscore one and recently published on social media which can be seen in our image gallery up top. Last but not least, the all-terrain, a jacked-up wagon aimed at the Audi A6 Avant all-road, will join the E-Class family. Though it's unclear at this point whether it will reach American soil, the 2024 E-Class estate features the same futuristic style and technology. The new E-Class all-terrain, a raised, tougher version of the wagon, will be announced at a later date, a Mercedes representative said while confirming that this E-Class wagon won't be coming to America. So, estate aficionados, there is yet hope. The E-Class wagon, like the sedan, is built on the same Mercedes rear-drive architecture as the C and S-Class sedans. While the wagon's 0.26 coefficient of drag can't match the sedan's 0.23 candelas due to the enlarged rear end, the new fascia keeps up with the brand's other models. The wheelbase of the 2024 E-Class estate is 0.86 inches longer and 1.1 inches wider than that of its predecessor. With the rear seats folded down, there is more room for passengers in the back as well as additional cargo space, which is the whole point of a wagon. To support the additional weight, the rear has standard air suspension. The most intriguing piece of technology in the E-Class estate is the optional MBUX Superscreen, which combines a passenger screen, a central infotainment screen, and a digital instrument cluster under one large piece of glass. It has a driver-facing selfie camera that can be used with third-party apps like Zoom and TikTok that is mounted on top of the dashboard. There are also third-party programs like Angry Birds, WebEx, Pocket Casts for Podcasts, and Vivaldi for online browsing. At launch, the 2024 E-Class wagon has three different powertrain options, 
one of which is a plug-in hybrid. A 2.0-liter four-cylinder with 204 horsepower and 236 lb-ft of torque serves as the E200's base engine. An identically sized diesel engine with 197 horsepower and 324 lb-ft of torque powers the E220D. The hybrid option is the most appealing since it combines the standard gas-burning engine with an integrated starter generator (ISG) located between the motor and transmission, producing a combined 208 horsepower and 405 pound-feet of torque. The luxury estate has long been an outlier in our market, rejecting customers' preferences for SUVs and crossovers while nevertheless generating enough revenue to support its continued existence. Hope that continues for the duration of this model and beyond. I'm glad that you now fully understand this vehicle. Would you kindly do me the favor of subscribing to this channel and pressing the notification bell button so that you are notified as soon as we upload another video like this. Thank you.